Friday's winter storm caused extensive damage at marinas throughout Lake Cumberland, including here at Lee's Ford Marina in Pulaski County, where the owner estimates around $4 million worth of damage. Some businesses in Wayne County were no match for the weight of the snow. Much of Kentucky is still cleaning up from that winter storm, but work goes on for people who have to be out here in it. This is WKYT News at 5. Good afternoon. That winter storm is gone, but the impact is still being felt. In fact, many roads in southern and eastern Kentucky still snow covered. Dozens of school districts have already called off classes for tomorrow. We are also getting our first look at some of the worst damage. The weight of that ice and heavy snow is causing docks to collapse at marinas along Lake Cumberland. Lee's Ford Marina near Somerset is one of the hardest hit. As WKYT's Hillary Thornton reports, the damage could be in the millions is our top story at 5. The owner here at Lee's Ford Marina describes the damage here behind us as looking like a bomb went off. He estimates the damage will total around $4 million. Around 250 boat slips sit damaged after several docks collapsed following Friday's winter storm. Marina owner J.D. Hamilton says they knew the few hours of ice, followed by more than a foot of snow piling on the rooftops, was not good news. His crews working hard to try and clear the rapidly falling snow. So there was just absolutely no way to, to keep up. And uh, at, it, when it started getting dark, I told my crew just to, you know, it was hopeless. We just could not keep up. So to get off of the, you know, get, get come in for safety. Saturday morning then revealing scenes like this, weight of the snow and ice causing docks to collapse. The piles of debris now being held up by the dozens of boats underneath. The worst loss uh, in this marina's history. I mean, just have never seen anything like it. We've had snow, uh, but nothing, nothing like this. Hamilton says he knows the boat owners are worried about their boats, but for now, he's asking everyone to just stay away for a couple of days until they can get the docks more secure. In Pulaski County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Now, boats that are in uncovered slips seem to be okay. It is a similar scene at the Jamestown Marina in Russell County. Officer Don flew over the area this afternoon in Sky First, and you can see many of the covered slips collapse, damaging the boats underneath. The owner of the marina says he still hasn't been able to determine the extent of the damage because there's still so much snow. The boat in slips that were uncovered again do not appear to have any damage. Students in Pulaski County were out of class today and will be out again tomorrow following Friday's big snow. This morning, many roads were still snow covered, including some of the main highways. This video is from Highway 80 in Somerset. The Transportation Department says they had some delays in clearing roads in Pulaski because of the size of the county. We're also told that some of the state crews in Pulaski County were pulled over to help with the mess on Interstate 75. The Transportation Department says thanks to the sun, and warmer temperatures, road conditions improved throughout the day. Wayne County is also dealing with a lot of damage from the winter storm. And the weight of the snow is proving to be too much for some buildings, leaving some businesses with a big repair bill. Our Phil Pendleton continues our first alert weather team coverage. This is Reed's Automotive, and from where I'm standing outside of the business, it's really hard to tell how much damage was done, but the entire top portion of the business caved in. This is one of several businesses here in this community that suffered a lot of damages, the result of the weight of the snow. Both Reed's Automotive and McCutcheon's Antiques suffered major damage after their roofs collapsed. Mark McCutcheon says he and his father started selling antiques 20 years ago, but on Saturday morning, he says a lot was instantly lost. Not only was it a place for traveling tourists to stop in on their way to or from the lake, but it quickly became a popular hangout spot for the locals. Reed Automotive owner Michael Reed Neal says this is the second time he's had to rebuild his business. He says it was destroyed by fire in 1993. It destroyed it. Yeah. We lost five cars uh, and all the equipment. You can see the chairs here. People made themselves at home. The stove was back there in the winter time. There's always a big fire going in the stove. And People just come. Not only are these businesses the livelihood of those who work here and those who own the business, they also have an emotional attachment to them, 
We'll tell you more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. But for now, in Wayne County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. And several chicken processing or research facilities were told were also damaged in that storm. Because of federal regulations, we were not able to get video of that damage. Well, we are seeing a much needed break after the winter weather that hit over the weekend. Warmer temperatures today, but we want to know how long will those warmer temperatures be sticking around? WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey joins us now from the First Alert Weather Center with an early look at your forecast. More sun for us? Overall, a much better weather week without question, Amber. Temperatures compared to last week or even the week before will be above where we have been. Doesn't mean every single day is going to be on the mild side like what we had today. Today, but the overall trend is at least positive for the next week or so. Then the uh, other shoe is going to drop as we go into February. Right now, looking at those sky cams from across the area, Mountain Parkway corridor looking to be in good shape. Check out this gorgeous shot. Sun setting in Lexington, clouds filtering in. Still got the blanket of white out there where we had the blowing and the drifting. Well, the areas that were a little thinner because of that blowing. Trying to show a little grass right now, but it's a process, my friends. Just hang in there. It's going to be a little while before we can fully uh, see the ground again. We're looking at your Defender Radar Network. Call them across the area. Throw the clouds into the mix. Maybe a sprinkle or two. Covington down to Louisville. Not a whole lot of moisture out ahead of this system that is wrapping up to our west. Cold front, though. Gusty winds out ahead of that. Boosting temperatures into the 40s. Colder air coming in behind that. That means a drop in temperatures as we go toward tomorrow. But for the evening ahead of us, chance for a late evening shower. Thermometers hugging the 40 degree mark. Could even be some snowflakes behind that boundary. Second half of tomorrow. Overall, though, as I mentioned, this is a week. That looks a whole lot better compared to the extreme weather we've had of late. Seven day forecast, though, will look uh, at some changes lurking, some good and a few not so good. That's it. Thank you, Chris. Slick roads this morning are being blamed for a serious crash in Laurel County. It happened about 7 this morning in the northbound lanes off of I 75 near exit 41 in Laurel County. Police say a semi jackknifed after hitting a slick spot, and that caused an SUV and another car to collide. One person was ejected. Three people were taken by helicopters to the hospital. Two others were taken by ambulance. Police hope this serious crash will serve as a serious warning for other drivers. Use caution. Um, keep speed as a factor. Keep it slow. Um, pay attention. And keep uh, plenty of following distance between you and the vehicles in front of you and around you. Now, even though there were four vehicles involved in this crash, police say the five people who were injured were all in the SUV, which had Ohio tags. A Lexington Elementary School was without water today because of a broken line. School officials say that they did not discover the water line was broken at Squires Elementary School until everyone was already at school for the day. Water was able to be restored to one of the portables they already have at the school because of construction, and bottled water was brought in for the students and staff. School officials say lunches were already being brought in from Tate's Creek because of the construction. They're not sure at this time if the weather is to blame for that broken line. Well, while the main roads here in Lexington are clear, some side streets and neighborhoods still have a lot of slush and snow on the roads. And that mess creates an extra challenge for the city workers. WKYT Sean Moody tagged along with a sanitation crew fighting through it. That snowstorm is long gone, but of course it left a lot behind. That's a challenge for the people who have to work outside in it, but they're not letting it get their spirits down. Good in the summer, bad in the winter. Daryl Morbley has seen plenty of both out here. About 40 some years off now, about 41 years. So he knows the drill. But whatever calls for, you got to dress for the occasion. When I started there, I had a jacket on. Now the weather's getting better today, so I'm kind of like without a jacket, but I got, I got long johns up under here, you know. It looks like I don't have a lot home, but I got enough home, you know. The cold isn't too bad today, but the slushy streets are a bit of an issue. Daryl said some of the routes couldn't run on Friday. We kind of called it off because the weather was just a little bit too bad for us. So they're trying to get to any houses they missed. These one of them can you got to go up to the residence area. The streets are mostly good, but it can still be a little tough. If the challenge is tugging the herb is through the snow, it's a little rough trying to drag, drag them through the snow. It kind of, you got to have a little muscles a little bit. Rough or not, Daryl says he wouldn't change it one bit. Well, it's a challenge for me. I like dealing with the public a lot. So you get to meet different people. It's a challenge. You know, it has, it has good days, your bad days. There, there, there'll never be no two days alike on the job. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. What a great attitude. And the official makeup day for Friday's collection will be on Wednesday. 
Still no arrest in a deadly weekend shooting. Our county by county coverage begins in Scott County. The Sheriff's Department released the victim's name yesterday in hopes of generating leads. Investigators say 24 year old Jeremiah Washington was shot and killed Saturday night in a mobile home park behind the old Sam's truck stop off of US 25 near the Scott Fayette line. The sheriff says the shooters took off in a red four door car, possibly a Chrysler or Dodge. And in Jessamine County, officials have set a date for when a needle exchange program will start. The Jessamine Fiscal Court approved the program last week. According to our partners at the Herald Leader, the program is set to start during the beginning of April. The program will allow addicts to anonymously exchange used needles for clean ones. They'll be able to go to the health department one day a week to exchange those needles. Lexington and Louisville already have needle exchange programs. As that water crisis continues in Flint, Michigan, the Attorney General has named a special counsel to help investigate what happened and to investigate if any laws were broken. Willie County road crews have been using a lot of salt since Friday. Coming up on WKYT News at 530, we'll take you through the county and show you what the roads look like. Synthetic drug use is on the rise, and officers are frightened by what they see. It's almost like an animal-like effect. It's probably the worst thing that I've seen. What happens when the people in control have no control? Synthetic drugs, tonight at 6 on WKYT. While some airports offer a few flights to a few places a few days a week, Louisville International offers daily flights to more of the places you want to go. You can get there from there, eventually. Or you can see where we can take you. Visit us today. So wherever your adventures take you, you can bet Toyota has an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle that can take you there. And right now is the best time to get one. Get 2.9% financing for 60 months on the Go Anywhere, Do Anything 4Runner. Or 1.9% financing for 60 months on the full-size American-made Tundra. With these vehicles from Toyota, never stop exploring. Toyota, let's go places. Two people can eat all this food for $9.99. And it's all my favorites. Yeah. Two conies or two burgers and two tots yep. and two drinks. Yeah. It's like I'm seeing double. Totally. Speaking of double, look. Maybe they want to hang out. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Just be cool, I'll man. I'll be cool. No, you're I not know how to be cool. cool. You're gonna be... You guys want to hang out sometime? Oh, I think I nailed it. See and eat double. Two can eat for $9.99 all month long. And stop by for buy one, get one free wings on Monday nights. This is how you sonic. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced worker's compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. If your vehicle has been in an accident, you have the right to choose your collision center. Tell your insurance company you want to take it to Fortune. Fortune Collision Center, 1-800-506-9322. Fortune Collision Center works with all insurance companies. We'll contact your insurance company and get an estimate. With five Central Kentucky locations, call 1-800-506-9322 or click on fortunecollision.com. Remember, when your insurance company asks where you want to take your vehicle, tell them you want to take it to Fortune. Look into the sky with all the beautiful color But there's more than just for me So gonna share it with another I got two show to give Let out I want to sing and shout Take a look and sing Oh, oh, oh WKYT First Alert Weather is brought to you by Car Town Kia. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Southerly winds out there today, boosting thermometers into the 40s. Exactly what the snow doctor ordered out there. And we need those southerly winds to kind of melt some of that snow. Unfortunately, winds are going to go back to the northwest over the next few days, so some colder air does indeed filter back in. We check the progress of those streamlines coming in from south to north, but to our northwest already now beginning to see a cold front gearing up. Look at this drop, 52 into the St. Louis area, right on the edge of the screen, 39 Springfield, Des Moines at uh, 31 degrees. You can actually see where that low pressure is across parts of central Iowa. The front that is to the west of St. Louis is on top of us. 
late tonight and early tomorrow morning. And you can see that seasonal brand of cold air that is coming in behind that. Nothing like the below zero stuff we had yesterday. Live sky cam, beautiful shot still of the snow covered bluegrass day. 24 hour forecast. It is warmer in the morning. When you go to work, and for a few of you go to school, compared to what it is when you come back home, we're going to whittle five, six, seven degrees off of that morning thermometer into the mid and upper 30s. Second half of the day, tomorrow evening, a snowflake is possible. Snowflake, nothing uh, to get too awfully excited about, kiddos. Southerly wind ahead of our front that will continue to work its way towards central and eastern Kentucky. It will have a little bit of moisture with it, really not picking up on a ton of juice, though, from the Gulf of Mexico. Hour by hour forecast. Watch out. The numbers this evening kind of jump back up. We'll be 40 ish into tomorrow morning. Little band of some showers. Then the front puts the brakes on to our southeast tomorrow afternoon and evening. Could be a little light rain or light snow into parts of central and eastern Kentucky tomorrow evening. Then that system begins to work on out of town. 20s show up as we go into Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, it's a seasonally cold day. Right around freezing, give or take a degree or two where you live. So we've got to watch for some refreezing now as we get into the next few days. Thursday morning, 20s to start. Next front is off to our northwest, so it's possible that Thursday afternoon sees temperatures into the upper 30s to low 40s with that next front that then begins to slide its way on toward the south into much of the area. We focus on the weekend forecast. Things start to change up a little bit. The pattern is taking a break, but it is reloading in the process. Don't believe me? Watch this. Everybody's going to talk about a mild weekend. They should. We're going to melt some snow. We're going to hit the 50s this coming weekend. But as the pattern here is getting mild, it's going to force a big storm system into the Ohio Valley by Monday and Tuesday. Look what happens as that storm system goes by toward the middle and end of next week. Pattern is going to get cold again. And as we go into the month of February, throw in that cold pattern with an active southern jet streak. I don't think we're, or jet stream, I don't think we're through with winter storm threats across our part of the world. So let's enjoy the winter halftime show. As we go toward the week, not sure who's playing for the winter halftime show. Have they announced yet? We've got temperatures in the 50s. That'll take the uh, starring role this coming weekend. Maybe we get to choose. Maybe huh? it's us. So we get to choose who we want to I, I play think that role. People will probably flip the channel very quickly. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. All right. Overall view of Lexington rush hour traffic uh, delays outbound Nicholas Hill Road. From Southland Drive out to the Circle and the heavier spots also on Richmond Road approaching the Circle at the moment. Clear the collision at Richmond and North Eagle Creek. That's the great news right now. No wrecks out there as far as drive times go. Uh, it's normal traffic flow, we'll call it, toward Paris on, uh, uh, toward Paris on Paris Pike. No major delays right now. 75 north or southbound. Get it to Scott County or to Richmond. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Don. Coming up, it could take days for the millions hit by this weekend's blizzard to dig out. Thank you for once again making WKYT your most watched television station. There is a difference in local news, and you help us prove it every day. Thank you. WKYT stands for Kentucky. Next Wheel has teen best friends. We've been best friends for 10 years now. We're the presidents of the juggling club together. He's the pin master. The pin master. It's everyone's favorite week when teens take over. Wheel of Fortune, tonight at 7 on WKYT. Ram's continued leadership is eye-opening. Like Ram 3500 with the best towing, best torque, the best payload, and Ram 1500 with the best fuel economy. It's no wonder more people are driving Ram trucks than ever before. Guts, glory, Ram. During the auto show, returning FCA US lessees get 12,000 in total values on the purchase of a 2016 Ram 1500 Outdoorsman Crew Cab. Hurt in a car accident? We got you covered. All I did was call. Doesn't cost anything to call. All you do is call. 800-800-4600. What are you waiting for? 800-800-4600. Come on now. No matter what time it is or wherever you are, your Toyota dealers are always open at buyatoyota.com. Now, during Toyota's Anytime Anywhere event, you can lease this stylish new 2016 Toyota Corolla for just $159 a month. Or let the adventures begin with the new restyled 2016 RAV4 and get 0% financing. So visit here and then come in here for the new Toyota you've 
always wanted. Toyota, let's go places. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Folks have been taking this short drive to satisfaction for over 20 years. Not only Winchester folks, but folks all across the state and even across the country. And who wouldn't come here with over 2,500 vehicles to choose from here in Winchester, Kentucky? No matter if it's 100 miles or the short drive from Lexington, our staff will help you start your journey. Tim Short Chevrolet. We've got a twist for you. We have spelling bee words, and yes, indeed, you have to spell the important word. It's not as easy as you think on J-E-O-P-A-R-D-Y. Jeopardy, tonight at 7.30 on WKYT. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. At least 36 people have died in the blizzard that moved up the East Coast this weekend. Today, it is the big dig out as cities struggle to return to normal. CBS News correspondent Craig Boswell reports from Washington, D.C., which took one of the hardest hits. Snowblowers, shovels, and bulldozers are a necessity in the nation's capital Monday to clear paths through about two feet of snow. Some vehicles still couldn't make it through. Residents helped this truck driver get back to work. We're almost there. We're moving. Huge mounds of snow are now piled up next to streets. Conditions are so treacherous that government offices and schools in Washington closed again on Monday. We knew that we would have with 24 inches of snow in the district and very cold temperatures throughout the week, uh, several days of cleanup ahead of us. The piles are just as big in New York City, where almost 27 inches of snow fell, the second largest storm since 1869. Considering 48 hours after people are able to get around, I would say that's pretty good. New York's mayor urged residents to leave their cars parked all week, if you can even figure out which one is yours. But some New Yorkers needed to begin the backbreaking process. It's going to take a while, but I'll get through it. It was not an easy Monday for millions. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Washington. More than 12,000 flights were canceled over the weekend. Airports in the affected areas are starting to get back to normal, but it could take a few days before passengers are rebooked. Michigan's attorney general has named a former prosecutor as a special counsel to investigate whether laws were broken during the process that left Flint with lead-tainted water. Former Wayne County Assistant Prosecutor Todd Flood will spearhead the probe with assistance from the with Andy Arena, the former head of Detroit's FBI office. The Republican Attorney General also said his office is reviewing what can be done to prevent Flint residents from being billed for water. The road conditions have improved in many areas, but the snow caused a different problem in Powell County. A large hole opened up. Coming up on WKYT News at 5.30, how the city is working to get that fixed. WKYT News is brought to you by Traditional Bank. It's time to beat the Gators in Kentucky Blood Center's Big Blue Slam, January 25th through the 29th. Donate blood, save lives, and support Kentucky. You can also donate Thursday, January 28th at Rupp Arena and take a shot on the court. Visit kybloodcenter.org for details. That's the sound of Sirius XM, controlled by the largest touchscreen in its class. This is the sound of someone blowing past the last gas station for over 500 miles. That's the sound of four usually rowdy kids enjoying their favorite movie. And together, these are the sounds of a well-executed automotive symphony. During the auto show, returning FCA lessees get $6,000 total cash allowance on the purchase of 2016 Chrysler Town & Country vehicles. Oh, man, these wings look good. Yeah, this spicy honey barbecue sauce is so good, it'll change your life. Hmm. Mm. Sir? It looks like we're leading in the polls. You're running for president? Don't answer that.
Life-changing? Maybe. Indescribably good? Definitely. The Boneless Wings Meal with Spicy Honey Barbecue Sauce. Served with crinkle fries and a small drink. Zaxby's. Indescribably good. Are you ready for some great deals? The 2016 kickoff event is on at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond. We have over 30 new Buick Encores available starting at just $29.95 or $279 a month. Get a new Buick Verano $19,995. A new Buick Regal Turbo $25,460. Or save $7,500 on a new Buick Enclave. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. The 2016 kickoff event is on at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond where... See it says Salem. My name is Renee Ward. Tony Orlando. And this is my mailbox confession. I sell beauty products. I am a CPA. I sell fitness equipment. Shh, just between you and me. I don't want the competition to know my secret. You've got to have an address, and this is mine. The packing, the shipping. It's local. Mailbox, paperwork. The UPS store. It's a miracle. I confess, I don't know what I'd do without you. Real small business owners count on the UPS store. There's no one road out there, no one surface, no one way of driving on each and every road. But there is one car that can conquer them all, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Five driving modes let you customize the steering, shift points, and suspension to fit the mood you're in and the road you're on. The 2016 C-Class 4 Matic starting at 40950 Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. At Golden Law Office, we handled cases for insurance companies for over 25 years. They often value your case based on the attorney you hire and the experts you retain. Let us put our experience, resources, and knowledge to work for you. Call us today for a free case evaluation. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Heart attack symptoms may have different causes and symptoms in women, and some risk factors can be even more dangerous. That's according to a new statement from the American Heart Association. The report says women are more likely to have other symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting, and back or jaw pain. The report also says high blood pressure and diabetes are stronger heart attack risk factors for women. Adriana Diaz has the details. Three years ago, Marsha Goodbaum felt nauseous and had stomach pains. She finally headed to the hospital hours later. I had no idea I was having a heart attack. I really expected shoulder pain or heavy chest pain. A new scientific statement from the American Heart Association says there can be some key differences between men and women when it comes to heart attack symptoms. It may not feel like they expect it to feel, but there is usually discomfort somewhere in the chest area and or in the neck and the jaw, the back, the upper stomach. They can even be in either arm or shoulder. This is the first time the association has put out a statement on heart attacks in women, which highlights that women often have different causes of heart attacks, such as the type of plaque buildup. If your blood pressure is too high today. Some risk factors can also be more harmful. Diabetes can be twice as strong a risk factor. High blood pressure is a stronger risk factor for heart disease among women. One year later, Marcia had the same symptoms and another heart attack. This time, she didn't wait. I tell my friends, if you have stomach pain or slight nausea, don't hesitate. I hesitated. You know, I'm glad I'm alive after that. She continues to manage her high cholesterol and high blood pressure with medication, diet, and exercise. Adriana Diaz, CBS News. Japanese auto parts maker Takata is facing more trouble after a tenth death has been linked to the company's faulty airbags. As a result, U.S. regulators added 5 million more cars to the 19 million vehicles already under recall. Takata has struggled for years since its inflators were discovered to be defective. The bags can explode when activated, firing out shards of metal and glass. Takata faces multiple private legal actions, millions of dollars in fines, and a U.S. Justice Department investigation. Investigation. McDonald's customers and investors appear to be loving it. The fast food restaurant has seen a jump in same store sales by more than 5%. McDonald's is crediting its all day breakfast for the better than expected revenue and earnings report. It is the second consecutive quarter that McDonald's has seen domestic same store sales grow, but it's not growing only in the U.S. McDonald's also saw same store sales rise 5% worldwide. For more health, education, and consumer news, News, go to WKYT.com and click on Better Living. Now, here's what's coming up at 530.